Dab. What is up dudes, it is DB here, and today we are going to be doing a review of macOS 8.6 and 9.0.4. I would actually prefer 9.2, but I've heard that's been a pain to install on some of these, so we're going to start. And no one cares that that's missing. And we have our happy Mac, macOS 8.6 splash screen. Oh god, what happened on the res? Look at it, it looks horrible. Okay, yeah, it's probably because it's like got these weird little lines down the screen. Oh, where's my res? Okay, yeah, that's much better. Much better, people. Much better. That is quality right there. Stickies, go away. So. I mean, what do I really have on here? Not much. If we go into the macOS 8.6 folder, you can see we don't really have anything installed. However, what we do have is internet. Oh, come on. We have Internet Explorer, which I actually prefer because it has the little IE logo. Yeah, that image, though, it won't load. And we also have Netscape, which it's got to do its little. No one freaking cares. Go away. This one actually loads the image, but it loads the web page wrong. So that's what that looks like. Netscape. That can go away. But yeah, we've got Google and Netscape on Google. Internet Explorer and Netscape. Which one do you use more often? Do you guys use Netscape? Or do you guys use Internet Explorer more often? Actually... I will make a straw poll of which browser do you guys use most often. Personally, I use Microsoft Edge. But if we look at about this computer, we can see we have crap running in the background that we don't need running in the background, actually. But... As we can see, we do have 512 megabytes of built-in memory using on this largest unused block. We have 450 megabytes free. Mac OS is using 30, but as you can see, we've got OS 8.6 right over here. Um, yeah. So, get QuickTime Pro. Well, I don't really want QuickTime. What's in our rubbish bin? Less cute items. It's our download cache. We don't really need that. How do we... Uh, is it file? Apple. Edit. No. Uh. Come on. Control. Oh, okay. Put away. Um. Oh. Control. Empty trash. Okay, there. We've emptied our trash bin. We honestly don't really need that. Yeah, it's just, that's just gonna make that beep. Um, oh, there's our PPP. Remote access crap. Uh, where's our monitors and sound? Yeah, I want, I want, um, the warning sound to be the, uh, alerts. 
I want it to be this sound. Eep. That has been around since Eep. the 2GS. That is actually on the uh, 2GS. So is that. Quack. That, I don't think, was on the 2GS. That was. That wasn't on the 2GS. There. So. Yeah. Listen. Listen for my input. Yeah. So, this is pretty much Mac OS 8.6. But, we've got that. And we've got this PC, which I can actually see stuff that's on this PC. DCIM. Nothing in there. Yeah, some videos. I believe that was from when I recorded my Android phone versus I. Sorry if it lags there, because... My encoding hates me. Uh, there's our sheep shaver GUI. Need to load that. But, I mean, like, some of those sounds are actually with the Apple 2GS. We don't really need that right now, actually. I didn't want to load macOS. It's gonna lag, guys. It's gonna lag. It's not my fault that my freaking recording software hurt. It's not my fault that they put only 8 gigs of RAM in this special shutdown. There. Now our OBS should pop up. It's actually not lagging that bad right now. Oh, where's our Apple II? Crap. Open file location. There we go. But if we load this, welcome to the 2GS system. Welcome to the 2GS system 6.0.1 software. I don't know where the original software is, but. This can just go away. We got our boot, our sound, our pages, and whatever else is gonna load. There we go. Is this ever gonna load? Yeah, okay, there's my mouse. New dot disk Apple disk five two of five and RAM. So if we go in if we go in here it's our media controller. I didn't want to open that actually. Let it load its beautiful buttons. Now I'll get rid of it. What I wanted to do is go into the control panel, let it load all its crap there, go into sound, open that, if you open it, it should bring up a screen with sounds. System beep. That was the standard beep. Sorry for the little flashing images, guys. Can't click here. Not assigned. But as you can see, 
got our simple beep. That's different, actually. But we do have the sound. <laughs> that was one of the original sounds. And I believe we do have the... Oh, we don't have the wild eep. Ah, uh, quit. I'm gonna get a copyright claim from Apple. There. But yeah, that's really just that. Shut down. I want to shut down and turn off the e system. <laughs> you may now switch off your Apple II GS safely. Yeah. But if we go back into the sheep shaver side of things, sheep shaver, let me go into the GUI. Is this lagging? No. At our Mac OS 9, we can start. And we get our little stupid error that no one cares about. Then we get our Happy Mac and our Mac OS 9 startup screen. And apparently it's gonna be stupid again. That's actually funny. I could make this 480 by or 640 by 480. Make it look even worse. Mac OS 9 is quite slow for some reason on this. There's our Mac OS disk. But as you can see, we have our crappy resolution if we go into 640 by 480. It's better. It's better. But just get here. Browse the internet. That just opens our Internet Explorer. And I want Google.com. Look at that beautiful animation up there, guys. Look at that beautiful animation. I'm going to have to figure out how to, like, bring that way up. I guess it doesn't want- oh, alright. I don't think I ever set up internet, but... <coughs> we have nothing in our rubbish bin. Oh, we can change our colors. Poor Grace. Cannot open Mac window. Um, I think it just crashed. Yeah, it just crashed. Okay, apparently Mac OS 9 crashes it. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, go away, please. Close program. Apparently, Mac OS 9 crashes Sheep Shaver. I have no idea why, but whatever. Let's continue with the video. Sheep Shaver. Happy Mac, Mac OS 9. Okay. Starting up. Once it decides to load, we can begin using Mac OS 9. Which I have to say is worse than Mac OS 8. Tell me in the comments, which one do you like better, Mac OS 9 or Mac OS 8? This literally just crashed in full screen. Uh, security. Ah, that's our keychain access. Put away. Okay, these icons are offset. Look at how much stuff we have in here. Like, literally. Okay. One neat feature about Mac OS, about the classic Mac OS, is that you can just make it into one little tiny thing and then just put it away somewhere and then when you're ready just do that but you know what apple you should have you should have made 
like a little animation of it like going up behind it and then it coming down instead of just I mean I mean it kind of looks like it's doing an animation although it's not I mean if you if you if you really look at it you can you can kind of see the little animation there but there's literally no animation there so yeah get rid of that but if we do go into about this computer you notice we have it says just giant Mac OS 9 Mac OS 9.0 that's actually not true it is 9.0.4 I can even show you the iOS O file TM and copyright Apple computer well they're not called Apple computer because they make more things than computers um, I believe that just crashed her. Nope, that didn't do anything. Remote access. <coughs> Multiple scan display. Got our 256 grays. Okay, there, that time it didn't crash. Our thing. Now, now going back into colored. Okay, that doesn't crash it. Well, that's nice, but I'm going to have to put this away. Oh, that, there's like a little animation kind of of it sh like shooting out. But yeah, I'm going to have to wrap that up for this video. I'm sorry it wasn't that good of a video for you guys, but I mean, it's the least I can do. And no, it's not lagging, I guess, but... I mean, like, come on, guys. Just. It's a, it's just a video, guys. It's just a video. Now, let me get this to actually size up with the recording. Mm, shut off. Let me get this into size. But, yeah. That was it for today's video. Goodbye, people. Dab. Peace. Base.